Do you plan to buy a house? It's critical to comprehend the state of the home market and the economy before making any selections. Positive housing market developments are sometimes sensationalized by the media, but a closer look reveals a more complex picture. We will examine the differences between the real state of the housing market and economy and the representations made by the media in this video. The existence of low interest rates is an important consideration. Because these rates lower the cost of borrowing money to buy a home, they can increase the affordability and appeal of homeownership. Furthermore, a higher supply of homes on the market might allow prospective purchasers additional choices. Because there are more houses on the market than there are buyers, sellers may become more competitive, which might lower prices. And further crucial factor to take into account is the increasing inclination of certain demographic groups towards renting. Rent has increased because to factors including flexibility, decreased maintenance obligations, and the opportunity to spend money elsewhere. This change in tastes may have a number of effects on the housing market, including adjustments to demand. Even if these elements appear favorable, it's important to look at any dangers and uncertainties that can have an impact on the market. For instance, unforeseen occurrences like natural catastrophes, changes in the economy, and changes in governmental regulations can all have a big influence. You'll have a better knowledge of the current housing market situation and how it can affect your intentions to purchase a home at the conclusion of this video. The Media Hype It's interesting to see how optimistic news reports on the home market are almost always found. Even though the real estate market is always shifting, media sources frequently emphasize the accomplishments and victories in this industry. This purposeful focus on good news influences public opinion by inspiring hope among prospective buyers and investors. Nonetheless, in order to guarantee a comprehensive comprehension of the housing market overall, it is imperative to approach these stories with a critical mentality. People may make better selections about their real estate initiatives by investigating other viewpoints and taking into account issues that might not be immediately evident. It's important to realize that the stated optimism in the home market may not always match reality in order to avoid potential traps and misconceptions. As a result, when navigating the complexity of the property market, it's critical for individuals to augment their knowledge with in-depth study and expert assistance. The Reality of Home Sales The real state of the market can be more complex than what is initially apparent, despite reports of skyrocketing property sales. Although real estate brokers and media sources frequently report on an increase in real estate transactions, it's crucial to look more closely at the underlying causes of this apparent development. Determining if the increased sales are really the consequence of more demand or are really the product of inflated prices is an important factor to take into account. The market stability is another important factor to consider. A brief increase in house sales does not always portend a long-term trend. Rather, it might be a sign of passing market volatility. Analyzing the sales distribution across various geographies and property kinds is also essential. A more realistic picture of the state of the market may be obtained if sales are rising in certain regions while being stagnant in others. For this reason, even while reports of skyrocketing house sales might give the market a favorable impression, a more thorough investigation is required to fully comprehend its dynamics. Decreasing Home Prices Home sales data indicates an upward trend, but the perplexing reality that prices are really falling endures. Economists and experts are concerned about this strange occurrence and are anxious to find a reason for this seeming contradiction. Analyzing this complicated problem involves looking at a number of elements. First off, the dynamics of supply and demand in the real estate market have a significant impact on price movement. Even in the event that house sales rise, there may be a flood of new listings that overwhelm the market. When there is an abundance of alternatives, purchasers have greater negotiating power, which drives down costs. In addition, the state of the economy can have a big influence on housing costs. Potential purchasers may be reluctant to invest in real estate if the economy is struggling or if unemployment rates are rising, which would put downward pressure on prices. Finally, there may be an external component to the disparity between house sales and price developments, such as alterations in government regulations, fluctuations in mortgage rates, or even volatility in the world economy. With so many moving parts, the relationship between pricing and sales is complicated and requires careful examination to fully understand the underlying causes of this confusing state of affairs. Opportunities for Patient Buyers 
Buyers that are patient might take advantage of the favorable buying circumstances now in the market. These purchasers, who base their judgments on patience, know that making well-informed decisions requires timely action. They are prepared to hold off on making a purchase until the ideal time, closely monitoring market movements and trends and carrying out in-depth investigation beforehand. By doing this, customers who are patient may be able to take advantage of price reductions or seller promotions to get better offers. They put more emphasis on long-term advantages and are resistant to being influenced by hasty purchasing decisions. There are a number of incentives available in the present market, including cheaper loan interest rates and reduced costs for products and services. Buyers who are patient might take advantage of these chances and negotiate advantageous conditions that fit their budget. Furthermore, patient purchasers might benefit from the seller's haste to close a deal during market downturns by using their patience to bargain for better conditions or a reduction in price. In conclusion, cautious purchasers in the present market may take control of their circumstances by paying close attention to market dynamics, carrying out in-depth study, and using their patience to negotiate favorable deals. Stagnant Home Prices The state of the economy now has a big influence on forecasting future housing values. The housing market is significantly shaped by a number of factors, including supply and demand, government regulations, and economic conditions. The COVID-19 epidemic has recently produced considerable economic disruptions, which has created uncertainty in the real estate industry. Lockdown measures and budgetary constraints caused the housing market to first decline. But as the globe slowly adjusts to the new normal, property values have proven resilient and have even increased significantly in many circumstances. The dynamics of supply and demand are one of the main forces behind the housing market. In the event that there is a strong demand for homes in the current market, but a limited supply, home prices might climb further. For example, prices usually stay high in highly crowded locations when there is a lack of available homes. On the other hand, a reduction in housing prices may result from a big increase in supply or a decrease in demand. The trend of property values is also influenced by government policy. Lowering loan rates and providing incentives to first-time homeowners are two examples of policies that might increase demand and eventually raise prices. Conversely, measures that impose more stringent lending laws or limit foreign ownership might have the opposite impact. In addition, a number of economic factors, including inflation, unemployment, and GDP growth, will have a significant effect on house values in the future. In general, a strong economy with low unemployment and steady inflation drives demand for homes, which raises prices. On the other hand, a weak economy with high jobless rates may reduce demand for homes and even cause home values to drop. Low Interest Rates The home market may be significantly impacted by low interest rates. It is cheaper for prospective homeowners to take out mortgages and finance their purchases when interest rates are low. Because more people and families can now afford to enter the market, this frequently results in a rise in the demand for housing. As a result of the heightened rivalry among purchasers, house prices can increase. Furthermore, low interest rates may entice current homeowners to refinance their mortgages, freeing up extra cash for investments or other expenses. This in turn increases consumer confidence and spurs economic activity. It is crucial to remember that although low interest rates may benefit borrowers, they may also increase the risk to lenders and cause inflation to increase. All things considered, there is a complicated link between low interest rates and the housing market that can affect a variety of economic players. Increased Inventory In the present market, increased inventory is important since it directly affects supply and demand dynamics. An increase in inventory indicates that there may be more commodities or products available. This may be the result of a number of factors, including overproduction, a decline in customer demand, or modifications to market patterns. Having more inventory can have both beneficial and harmful effects. On the one hand, it gives customers a lot of alternatives, encouraging competition among vendors and maybe lowering prices. Additionally, it enables companies to better prepare for unforeseen spikes in demand, guaranteeing that they can fulfill client demands without experiencing delays or shortages. However, firms may experience operational and financial difficulties as a result of having too much inventory. Keeping more inventory than needs is a waste of money and storage space. It also raises the possibility that goods will eventually become outdated or lose value. 
Businesses may also have to pay more for maintenance, insurance, and storage when it comes to inventory management. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic's economic effects, rising inventory levels have become a major source of worry for many companies in the present market. Lockdowns, limitations, and changes in customer behavior have caused supply chains to become unstable, which has resulted in excess inventory in several industries. Businesses now face difficulties controlling their inventories, cutting expenses, and adjusting to the shifting market conditions. Businesses have had to employ a number of tactics to deal with this problem, including product discounts, production level adjustments, channel diversification, and finding new applications for surplus inventory. These steps are intended to save costs and guarantee that stock levels correspond with customer demand. All things considered, the present market's elevated inventory levels have important ramifications for consumers, companies, and the economy as a whole. It presents both possibilities and problems, necessitating ongoing strategy monitoring and adjustments on the part of enterprises to guarantee optimum inventory management and sustain competitiveness in a market environment that is changing quickly. Economic Uncertainties Numerous possible risks and uncertainties exist in the market's dynamic landscape, and they might have a substantial influence on the stability and performance of the entity. Financial market volatility and swings are a significant risk element. These can be impacted by a range of international events, including trade disputes, natural catastrophes, economic downturns, and political unrest. Unpredictable events can create uncertainty and hinder firms and investors from making well-informed decisions, which might cause market instability. Government regulations may also be extremely risky since they might affect how firms operate in the marketplace. This might entail the imposition of stricter rules or additional taxes, which could have an effect on investor sentiment and business profitability. Furthermore, technology disruptions may change sectors and breed uncertainty for both existing and startup organizations. Examples of these disruptions include the rise of new digital platforms and automation advances. Finally, since market participants' behaviors and beliefs have a significant impact on the direction and stability of the market, investor conduct and market mood can significantly exacerbate uncertainty. In order to manage the turbulent market environment and minimize any negative effects, market players must have a thorough grasp of these potential risks and uncertainties. Rising Delinquencies The housing market may be significantly impacted by rising delinquencies. A growing number of people missing their mortgage payments on schedule might cause a wave of foreclosures, which can lower home prices. In addition to homeowners who are trying to sell, prospective purchasers are also impacted by this decline in property values since they could now perceive the market as less attractive. Furthermore, in an effort to reduce risk, lenders frequently tighten their lending standards when delinquencies increase. This may further slow down the housing market by making it harder for people to get mortgage loans. Moreover, an increase in delinquencies may give rise to feelings of instability and unpredictability, which may prompt banks and investors to pull out of or scale down their engagement in the housing market. This might have a lasting impact on the state of the market as a whole. Thus, in order to avoid having a detrimental knock-on impact on the housing market and the economy at large, it is imperative to keep a careful eye on delinquency rates and swiftly address any underlying concerns. Renter Preferences Renters' preference for renting versus owning a property has been rising over the past few years. Numerous things might be blamed for this change in viewpoint. First, for many people, the cost of homeownership is becoming more and more difficult to bear. Renting has become a more financially viable alternative for people seeking stability and flexibility in their finances due to growing home prices, expensive down payments, and the constant threat of unforeseen maintenance needs. The trend towards renting has also been exacerbated by the shifting nature of the employment market and people's need for flexibility in their living options. Considering the prevalence of remote work and job mobility in today's world, renters like the ease with which they may relocate and explore new areas without having to worry about having to sell their home. Furthermore, younger generations Millennials and Generation Z, in particular, tend to value short-term financial flexibility and experiences above the long-term commitment that comes with homeownership. They may live in thriving cities or lovely neighborhoods while renting and not have to worry about paying a large mortgage. Furthermore, the attraction of renting as a lifestyle option has increased as rental alternatives have continued to expand and improve with the introduction of facilities like premium apartments, pet-friendly communities, and on-site gyms. 
All things considered, a number of factors, including generational preferences, shifting work dynamics, and the availability of appealing rental choices, can be blamed for the trend toward renting. Institutional investors. The housing market is significantly shaped by institutional investors, including hedge funds, insurance firms, and pension funds. Their impact extends to a number of areas, including rental rules, general market stability, finance, and investment plans. Large capital inflows are one of the main effects of institutional investors on the housing market. Due to their vast financial means, these investors are able to invest huge quantities of money in real estate. This capital inflow has the potential to increase market activity, raise real estate values, and support the expansion of the housing industry as a whole. Furthermore, institutional investors frequently focus on buying and overseeing a sizable portfolio of rental properties. Concerns about the supply of cheap housing, particularly in very coveted metropolitan locations, have been heightened by this expanding tendency. The housing supply for prospective homeowners may decline as institutional investors buy houses for rental uses, increasing competition and driving up costs for individuals wishing to purchase a home. Furthermore, the stability of the housing market may be impacted by the investing techniques used by institutional investors. These investors could participate in speculative behaviors that lead to price volatility or even market bubbles in their quest to maximize returns. Although their investments may yield favorable returns in the near run, such moves carry additional dangers, which might destabilize the market and have detrimental effects on both investors and homeowners. It's also critical to remember that institutional investors engage in activities other than just buying and selling real estate. They frequently lobby for laws that support their investment objectives, which has an impact on housing policy. These regulations may have an impact on how the housing market as a whole operates, which may have ramifications for urban growth, tenant rights, and housing affordability. A cautious approach, buyers in the present market have a plethora of alternatives and techniques to weigh in order to determine the optimal course of action. Knowing their financial status and creating a reasonable budget are among the first things consumers think about. This is calculating how much a person can comfortably afford to spend on a purchase by taking into account their income, costs, and savings. Furthermore, it's critical to do research and maintain current knowledge of market circumstances. Buyers can better comprehend potential possibilities by keeping up with trends and volatility. The selection of an appropriate real estate agent is a crucial component of the optimal strategy for purchasers. Buyers may identify appropriate houses, negotiate pricing, and ensure a seamless transaction with the assistance of an experienced and reliable realtor. When looking for a house, purchasers should also carefully assess their priorities and objectives. Having a firm understanding of what matters be it location, size, amenities, or potential resale value will aid purchasers in making wise selections. Finally, it's important to be flexible and patient. Finding the ideal home may take some time because of the competitive nature of the present market. It is more likely that you will find the greatest offer if you are flexible and open to new ideas and market developments. In general, the best course of action for purchasers in the current market is to conduct in-depth study, seek expert advice, and have an open mind about possibilities. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the housing market and economy. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel like this video and leave a comment below. And if you're considering buying a home, remember to take a cautious approach and thoroughly evaluate your individual circumstances before making any decisions.